Hello everyone, my name is George and we are at the heart of the biggest hardware hub in the world. We are in Shenzhen in Huaqian Bay Market and we are about to experience something that most people call it a geek's paradise and yeah it is. The best way to access this huge complex, huge complex, is to take the metro. And this is the Huaxin station, but you can also go to the other Huaqiang Lu station. What's most important that you take your time for it, because there's several blocks on that direction, and everywhere you look, there's electronic stores. And we are in the B2C section, the one that most of the average guys like me would like to visit. But beyond these buildings, there's the B2B section where companies come and buy everything. And I mean everything. You can build your own phone from scratch, from parts here in Shenzhen, in Huaqian Bay. And this guy actually did it. Just like a new phone. There it is, in the box, done. Before going in, you need to know that we have several malls surrounding us and every floor is filled with hordes of people. As a foreigner, you'll, you'll be targeted by all kinds of vendors trying to give you the best deal. Take your time. Don't be a speedy Gonzalez. Not here. Most of the buildings have the ground floor uh, busy with uh, stores like that, that can put Apple and Huawei in the same spot, in the same shop. They are not official Apple or Huawei stores, there's flagship stores for that. But here you can also find stores like GoMe, next to Samsung, to DJI, to Huawei again, to Oppo and all the other brands you know and love from AliExpress. The ground floor is really western looking, so you recognize the typical Apple reseller store or the China mobile store or the Huawei store and all that. But the real action happens one floor above. Retail space is most expensive on the ground floor. The higher you go, the smaller the booths become and you can start to bargain and haggle with the Chinese. Look over there. So this is the typical Huaqian Bay booth. Just two meters in the front and a bunch of stuff in the back. Most of them have the merchandise coming here straight from the factory. Some of the people e even work on the products before they sell them. Now this is a rare find. These guys use lamps to fine tune their amplifiers and to make them unique. And they're testing one right now. Most probably the best speakers in the world here in Huaqian Bay, the Macintosh Mikhail. just seen a bunch of iPhone copies, exactly what you'd expect, but the price should tell you if it's a good fake or a bad fake. The cheaper it is, the faker it is. If you want to do business here, bring your cash because cash is king, but otherwise use your WeChat or Alipay. Everybody uses WeChat and Alipay. 
Most of these guys are specialized in cases. iPhone, Android, doesn't matter. Most of them cheaper than a dollar and they are so busy because they're also fulfilling orders from AliExpress or other international websites. For a few extra bucks you can leave this place with a brand new iPhone. Your own iPhone but with a brand new case. $40, 50 dollars you can leave this place with a brand new iPhone and you can change the color if you don't like the case anymore. Why would you buy a case in the first place if you can change the whole body? Anytime. Next tip, more is less applies here. You're gonna get the high price if you're only gonna buy one single item. If you're gonna buy more, you're gonna get a cheaper price. Remember the fish salesman? Always take time to inspect your products. You're gonna be shown a working product, but be sure that what you're getting is in working order. Count your money and pay close attention to everything what happens. It's a pretty safe place, a lot of police and cameras everywhere. One last tip, before you go back to your hotel, have the name of your hotel written on a paper card. Most of the taxi drivers don't speak English. And that's about it from me. I'm George, I'm here in Shenzhen, China, and I didn't buy anything, at least not today. I should be coming back for more, maybe next time.